Alright, here we go. I have to destroy toxic barrels. Alright. Easy enough. Oh. They practically destroy themselves. Alright. That's very convenient. I didn't really understand what you just said there, mate, but I'm sure it was very important. Well, at least in a such a manner important that it just sort of announced a little bit what I was worth, what I am worth, are worth, what I am supposed to expect here, which is of course enemies. Keep still a while. Not gonna hurt you. I barely can. No. Um, I really want to zoom out all the time to get a better view of the field, but then I just then then all the art the models are so small that it just really loses its beauty. It's not that the graphics are so amazing in this game, but they're enjoyable to watch. Uh, enemies... I thought you were a barrel. Look like a barrel. Could be a barrel for all I know. A man barrel. Never mind. Just keep still. That'll do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you go moving now. Still 20 more barrels remaining? That's a lot. It's way too much. Why so much? The same quest could have been done with just 5 barrels and just spread apart, spread apart a little bit. And each time I kill a barrel, it just spawn. Am I even moving? We we'll just spawn some enemies. And we'd all be happy because we didn't we wouldn't have to be flying around such ridiculous lengths with so slow ships. Oh, here we go. There we are. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you could have just been triggered by one barrel and it would have all been well. It's not that I'm complaining too much. I really do enjoy this game. Yeah. You can't really complain. Oh, that they're actually asking us to do some work for the money we have. Oh, 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 crap. Oh. That was stupid. Especially that it was not the first time this happened. Not me dying. Yes, well, that's of course not the first time it happened as well. But the barrels are like exploding for the fifth time now. Right from my nose. So it's not like I couldn't have known. He's going down. You have nothing. Oh, me money. He also doesn't have... Oh, I just don't have enough money. Oh no, please don't let, me, let it end like this. Ah, no worries there. Now I have plenty of money soon enough. Th this is exactly how I sort of failed the first time. The only problem there was I just just a little bit further in the game and I didn't need 20 rats to build a ship. Well, I could build a ship with 20 rats, but it was... It, it, wasn't any use really at all. So I need like a 
100 or 150 and getting that was quite a challenge as I only got to use my canned beans that are not really that anything, they're just nothing. I could probably gain more money by playing poker or something with the crew. I'm actually trying to, to do what? Mining or something with the cans? I, I don't know. It's not much you could have done with them. Oh, no, not, not the same mistake. And now they don't explode. Oh my. Just Oh, there's an enemy. Ah, oh, that's the same big ship that just destroyed me. And I only have two of my friends. It does seem to have less hull than first time. I think I'm gonna win. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna win this. Definitely. Oh. Was, was that ship so much better equipped then? Oh yeah, I want that ship. That, that is at least one size larger than what I have now. And larger means pretty much more of everything, I hope. I really should dock and get my loot stocked. Which would also mean another ship. And I'm guessing when I destroy that last barrel, of course, a large amount of enemies will spawn. Which is something we want to be at least a little bit prepared for. And if I knew it was such a long fly, I'm not sure I would have done this, but of course now I'm almost there, I hope. Is that other ship just gaining on me right now? Do you have less loot? You have less loot. That explains it. Oh man. Why is this so far? Oh, this was a bad idea. Finally. Okay. You pick it up. Now go straight back. There we are. New ship already done. Didn't take long. Let's hope I won't get totally squished by whatever's coming. Really, nothing. It was all for nothing. Alright, never mind. Just ignore that minor setback. And I would really think we. We need to do another one so we can level up. Whatever. And uh, take on that blockade. I'm not really sure that one level and a few percent of an upgrade will be so much better. But it's all I have only hope I have, I mean, and I'm just gonna try it anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. This should be a much easier quest. It did give me a lot of goons though, which I lost quite a few during my Warp gate blockade encounter. I'm 
Oh, I really need to remember to select the enemy so we all at least go on the same ship. Which, all, which does make... No, I'm not saying does make. I'm saying which at least uses the advantage of the fact that I have three ships against one. He has of course more, but for some reason he thinks it's much smarter to summon them separately instead of all at once. And he can just fly away from me. Now this is really silly. What am I supposed to do? Okay, never mind, get him. He'll come back eventually. Or not. Really? Is this how it's gonna be? You're just gonna fly away from me? Like idiots? And destroy my star beacon something? Do I have to guard it now as well? Actually I do. This, this happened a few times in, in, in my last game. And then you get teleported back to the ship. And its mission failed and it's 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 not good. I believe. I'm not sure you ex automatically instantly get back to the ship, but at the point where they are able to destroy your beacon, they can also destroy your ships. So if you aren't able to bring in any more ships, it's pretty much over. You can try the area again, or the mission, if, if it's not timed out, because I've noticed certain missions are only available for a specific amount of jumps. But I do think that new missions will appear, so that you don't eventually strand not being able to level up, gain any money, or do anything useful whatsoever. Come on. Focus fire team. Yeah, I know it's my fault. I misselected. Select I'm just gonna destroy him then. It's good. I'm not sure this was a good idea. I'm doing it again. I need to aim. Because aiming is very important. If I don't do it, my energy will run out now. Remember this. I'm talking to myself, yes, yes. I'm sure you all doing it. I'm doing a very good job at this. It's just me that can't seem to remember this basic aspect of aiming and actually killing something. It's, it's not something done on the go, take years of practice. That's why we have slaves running our ships. We have lots of practice dying, which is of course the wrong kind of practice we need. It's the only thing we have. Because the doctor blew up the toilets and all the decent pilots are stuck to their cabins with heavy diarrhea side effects. Sure they are. Can't be anything else. Come on now. Oh! Did it again. Bumped the microphone again. There we go. I really need to learn it because I know from how I'm listening myself sometimes you can have the audio on a large volume and suddenly get a very annoying noise. I'll try to not have that happen again, folks. Oh, come on. Th this is this is really annoying. Why why did they make it like this? It's not like he has any chance left. He's just gonna. He, he didn't even shoot. He's just flying up and down, doing 
nothing particularly useful, just costing my time, wasting my time. You should really give him a, a, a bill at the end, a check. No, a check gives him money, a bill. Yeah, that's uh, two minutes wasted of my life. That will be 50 bucks. Yeah. Not sure who will pay. Since I'm going, planning on shooting him. Most people that get shot are not very keen to hand over their money. Unless you take it by force. But that's not really handing over. That's just taking what you want. Or not really. Really? Oh man. This is, this is getting stupid and annoying. That's what I'm doing. More of you. Alright, there's a big ship. These big ships don't run away from me. Which is good so far, only that I get to shoot at them all I want. And seeing as how I outgun him, as I think I have six cannons, and he only has. I'm not even sure yet. He has one. Oh, he has two missiles. Alright. That won't cut it. Alright, another black. Oh, yeah, available. That's what I need. I also got level up. Now, uh, the reactor. I was running out of energy really fast. Reactor out there. And I know what I just said, but I'm running out of energy all the time, so I'm just gonna upgrade it anyway. And have a look at my new ship. Now, what do we all have here? Missiles. Yep, missiles good. Just gonna try and use that. And just the emitter on a turret. That's two tractor beams. This all keeps it setting, which is very convenient. Very nice. Alright. Should be smooth sailing from now on. At least that's what I dearly, dearly hope. Ship constructed. Yeah. It's nice and big, but we have missiles. Fire in sync. Not really in sync, but just look good. Just one then the other. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get you blockade. Gonna kill you. Kill you bad. Oh, what's happening? Ah, we already have that. He died miserably, but now he will conquer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the turret actually is aiming. This is really good. Oh, missiles! Don't oh, get the missiles. Oh, this is this is great. I'm I'm gonna go with all turrets on all my ships. If I can. I um, hope I can. Oh, look at my hit points. Oh, I have massive hit points compared to what I had like five minutes ago. It's just do nothing and lots of energy. This is good. This is all going very good. Destroyed easily. Yeah. All right. That's the last of the bastards. Unfortunately, from this moment on, it gets nothing but harder. If we're going to survive a pirate's life. Is all. A pirate's life is all we have the luxury of now. The warp gate is back online. Let's heat up the warp. Capacitor and set up a course. We've all been here far too long. It's time we moved on. He is actually talking about Earth. 
I, I, I was never really keen of the uh, idea of leaving Earth, because I'm quite happy here. But, seems out it's not for all of us. Right, the star map has been unlocked. Nothing else to do here. Star map. This is a public service announcement. As you clear warp gate blockades, you unlock con unlock connections that allow you to travel to different star systems. All right, the star map shows all the warp gate connections in the galaxy and how powerful each star is. As you get closer to the core, the star's tech levels will increase. Seems logical. Beware of traveling to a star with a level well beyond your own. The more dangerous a star, the more red the icon will be. Uh, red being bad, of course, is very easy to understand. I think I should read this a few. No. And the ally face icon is still green, good, red, bad, and blue, awesome. But not hospitable, new star, you come, yeah, whatever. I'll just figure it out as we go along. Oh, oh, why is this going so slow? Can't I move? Oh, here we go. Ah, it's the other mouse button. Okay, I'm here, and then I'm here. Yeah, I want to go to this place. It's the only place I can go, so for now, it's paradise. Oh, oh, what's happening? I can't believe we actually cracked the gate. I haven't left home since. I was a oh, damn, I, <laughs> I haven't left home since I was a kid. Before the UTA locked down the outer fringe worlds. The world captures, captured in Earth, on Earth. As impressive as it may be to you, there is uh, elementary. This is elementary compared to what's ahead. When doing projects for the UTA, we came across Titan's Pass warp gates. Only the UTA flagship was able to power them, but we never saw them get used. Supposedly, they used a massive emitter called the Titan Beam to generate the energy required. I'm sure by now that there are dozens of Titan gates between us and the core. Sadly, your optimism has little merit as we currently have no way to open it. Great, so what was all that talk about if you have actually nothing useful to say? That's what I'm talking about. It's a nice story, but shut the hell up if you have a plan. But I assume you have a plan. Alright, what's your plan, Doctor? Indeed, the Titan Beam mechanism isn't beyond my understanding. But acquiring these parts will be problematic. The first thing we need to do is a focus focus crystal suitable to emit the beams. I'm going to need to do some local scans. Unfortunately, I wouldn't expect the civilian science base in this system to be very hospitable. I have a soured relationship with them. On the other hand, Admiral Jason is posted at the UTA base in the system and he owes me a favor. Did you fix his toilet? I bet you did. I, that's what happened. Admiral Jameson, have you ever gone a bit shit crazy? Don't you remember the other day when we destroyed a whole pile of UTA attack ships? All that pew pewing? <laughs> yeah, that was great. Carl's right in this one. The UTA colonies are isolated as everyone else. They have no clue what's going on beyond their gates. See the UTA. So they're the coolest bunch of idiots. Excellent. And that's what we have to work with. Alright. We're being let loose. Tutorial is over. That was a bit long tutorial. This is actually like the fourth, maybe fifth episode. Not sure. That was a bit long tutorial. Then you're free to take jobs, wreck havoc, take your time, explore the universe, use the objective screen if you get yourself lost. Check the system map, see what's going on, and clear additional warp gates. If you want a refresher, don't need a refresher. 
it's not that very complicated. Actually got an achievement there. Excellent. Alright. Uh, ship was updated. Not interested. Not interested at the moment. And this is the new space. Now, I have barely any money. So, I'm not sure I want to buy whatever you it is that you're selling. Can't use it. And I need more parts. This looks useful, but unfortunately I still need more parts. Oh no, I just don't have... What what is it that you're having selling? A basic engine. I need to upgrade that first. Medium armor first needs to be upgraded before it can be used. All right. The same goes for this. Looks like this house. All right. So contrary to my first belief, there isn't actually. A lot of gates I clear right now, so I'll have to stick to the quests. It's nothing useful I can buy at the moment. And we'll do the quests in the next episode. Thank you all for watching again, and see you next time.